one of the 16 regions in Ghana. It is located in the north region of the country, covering an area of 31% until December 2018 when the Savannah region and northeast region was created from it. It is divided into 14 districts and the region's capital is in Tamale. This week on The Ghanaian Farmer, we travel to the northern region, specifically Tamale, to engage over 180 women involved in share butter processing and their name is Tiyumba Share Butter Center. We're going to have a conversation with the secretary and also speak to a young SHS graduate by name Margaret who is 20 years old but has been working here over five years now. My name is Enyunam and this program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix and Leap Tomato Mix. Get interactive on our social media platform on Facebook, LinkedIn and Instagram and on YouTube, The Ghanaian Farmer. I'll be right back after this breather. <music> Among the many things that could be talked about in the northern region when it comes to agriculture, shea butter processing happens to be key among all that is done here in the northern region. Today, uh, as part of our episodes that we are recording in the northern region, precisely Tamale, the Ghanaian farmer is in the Tiyumba shea butter center here in Tamale. We are coming to have a conversation with about 180 women with two men working with them to understand what it is like to day on day go buy share butter and come and process or share nuts and come and process into the butter that we use for cooking and your body. So I have with me Zakaria here who is the secretary of the association. Thank you for joining us Zakaria yeah. and thanks for your warm welcome. Unexpected warm welcome, but we are very much grateful. Okay. So let's start off with a little history about Tiyumba Shabatu Center. How did it all start? Uh, it started through my boss initiative, okay. who is Soto Zakaria. Mm. He was at one center, namely Gurugo. Okay. That was where he was. Mm. So he realized that coming to start the center at this center will help the women in this community. So through that idea, he decided to come and mobilize the women, put them into group, discuss his ideas with them, and they bought his ideas. So through them, they started this center. In which year did the center officially started working? It started officially in 2009. 2009? Yeah. Okay. Which straightforward 180 women or there were few no, before later some joined? We started from around 50 okay. women. Yeah. Okay. Now, does the center has its own farm or land where you have the no, shared no, trees no, no, no. on? We don't have. Okay, so how do the women get the share nuts to process it? They buy from the market, but sometimes they do get it from their farms during the rainy season. Hmm. Okay, so you can only pick share fruit during, during the, the rainy, rainy season. season. Yeah. Now, let's talk about the ones they go to buy in the market. How much does a sack cost? I can see some of them uh, lined up over there. How much does one sack cost? Uh, the sack, it depends on the number of bowls they buy. The bowls are saying, the bowl we have yeah. here? Yeah. Okay. So how much does one bowl cost in case I'm buying? Seven CD. Seven CD. Yeah. So I'll multiply times so the, number, the number that it fills one bag. Box. Yeah. Okay. So on how many times or how often do you visit the market to buy the share nut for processing? Maybe once in a week. Once in a week, you yeah. visit the market. Yeah. Okay. On each day, how many tons of share nuts is they, uh, are the women able to process in the center? Well, if there is production, demand, demand. Okay. They do at least four to five tons a week. Four to five tons a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, who pre-finance the operations of Tiyumba Share Butter Center? The manager. The founder of the group. Yeah. Okay. So the women you brought together, how do they earn from what they do for the association? Do you pay them weekly or monthly? 
how do they earn a living? They, they are paid based on the contract. If there is a contract, mm -hmm. there is an, a percentage they all take okay. during the processing. Contract from who? From buyers. Okay. From so buyers as and when you have a contract to yes. produce share butter yeah. for a client, yeah. then? They get the profit. If there is no contract, then they send to market to sell and then get their own profit. Okay. So when sales is made, then you share so, yeah. among them. them. I see. That's interesting. All right. So let's talk about after the share comes from the market. Take us through the process step by step for me to finally see what I'm saying here. This okay. finished work. Okay. Take me through the process. Okay. First of all, when they buy the nuts from the market. Yes. Uh, please give me the nuts. I, come on. Uh, please give me. Uh, we are recording. So. <laughs> all right. So this is so, how the nuts looks like. Yeah. So when they bring this from the market, uh -huh. they wash it. Okay. After they wash it, uh -huh. they allow it to dry. Okay. Then they crush it. You crush it into to this. this. Yes. This texture. Yes. Okay. But first of all, before they crush it, uh -huh. they pick the bad nuts from it. Nuts like this. These are very bad. So they pick the bad ones, okay. leaving the good ones. Okay, the ones that are looking black, black. Yes. They are bad. Yes, right. most of them are bad. Mm. So they pick it and then okay. those that are left mm -hmm. as the good ones, mm -hmm. they crush it, okay. which turns to this. Uh -huh. Then from the crushing, uh -huh. they roast it. Why do you roast it, please? They roast it from, uh, we have roasters over there. There's two? There's two. Okay. Yeah, what they do there. So we roast it. Uh -huh. Then roasting, they allow it to cool. Okay. When it cools, uh -huh. then they then send it to the grinding mill. To mash again? No, to grind it. To grind again? Yes. Okay. When they grind it, uh -huh. it comes like out like this. This is a texture you this get. This is a texture? Yeah. Okay. You get something like chocolate. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. So they will allow it to get cool. It has to cool again? Yes, because okay. it will be hot from the grinding mill. Okay. They will allow it to get cool. Mm -hmm. When they get it cool, mm -hmm. then they fetch us to the strength level of the kneader. Okay. That is yeah, the one you are The one who is going to need it. Okay. The person will fetch it to her level. Mm. The level that she can need, mm -hmm. the energy she possesses mm -hmm. to need it. Mm -hmm. Then she will add a little bit of water, mm -hmm. cold water, mm -hmm. and then start kneading with their hand. Okay. With what the woman over there ah, is doing. Ah, okay. So uh -huh. this is what we call the kneading. The, yeah, that uh -huh. is the kneading process. So she will be kneading it in that way. Okay. When it gets hardened, mm. then she adds hot water. Hot water? Yes. So use both hot and, and then cold, cold water. water. Okay. The hot water only comes in when it is too hard for you to Move knead. your hands through uh, smoothly. Yeah. Mm. Then when you add the mm -hmm. hot water, mm. it makes it easy for you to stir or knead it mm. with the hand mm. again. Mm. Uh -huh. So you will be kneading it that way till the oil pops up. Uh -huh. Like what they are what doing, this over thing there. Is doing over here. Yes. So now that's the oil. Yeah, that she's that's the oil she's scooping, the she's scooping mm -hmm. out okay. of the water. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. I see. Uh, how long do I have to knead for before I realize that I'm getting the oil? Unless it takes 30 to an hour, depending on the hour. way you knead and then the nature of the butter. Okay. Sometimes there are nuts that when you are not careful. Uh -huh. You can use 30 minutes to knead it. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So after I get it in this form, what do I do next? You take it to the boiling site. Okay. Where we'll be we going there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Where we boil it. Mm. When you boil it, <laughs> the oil will scoop up, mm. leaving the waste product mm. down, settling mm -hmm. down. Mm -hmm. Then you use ladder mm -hmm. to fetch the oil out of mm. the uh, the waste mm -hmm. from the pot. Mm. When you fetch it out, okay. you allow it to get cool. Okay. When it cools down for 30 or an hour, okay. it turns to oil. Okay. Yeah. And okay. you start seeing the oil from the boiling stage. Immediately you start boiling it. The oil will How start... How long will I leave it on fire to boil for? It depends on the nature of the fire. Okay. If the fire it's very is hot. It's very hot. Mm -hmm. It takes at least an hour to two. Okay. Yeah. But if the fire is not that strong, it takes two to three hours. All right. So, Zakaria, I'm going for a quick breather. When I come back, we'll continue with the process and then we'll talk about the profit nature, the challenges, and every other thing. Viewers, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer. My name is Enyonama, and 
this episode put the spotlight on about 180 women who have been brought together by two gentlemen to form an association, creating jobs for them and empowering them economically. So we want to tell you, if you want to buy share butter, the best place to look out for is the Yumba Share Butter Center. Of course, I'll display his number on the screen for you to get in touch with them. Let's support our agro business people in the country. I'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Thanks for staying. If you're just in, you're watching The Ghanaian Farmer on Joy Prime. My name is Enyonam. This program is proudly brought to you by Lizzie Tomato Mix and Lee Tomato Mix. I'm proudly supported by Crocodile Market. Our focus today is to put spotlight on shea butter processing. The hub of shea butter. Every shea butter, their country, homeland, is the northern region. Precisely, this is Tamale. And seated next to me is the secretary of Tiyumba Shea Butter Center. And his name is Zakaria. Zakaria. Yes. So we're talking about, you said if the fire is not too strong, it takes about two to three hours. Yeah. And then it's ready, taking off the fire, leave there to cool down. down for about how many hours again? For an hour? Depending on the weather. If okay. the weather is very cold, uh -huh. it takes at least 30 to an hour. Okay. But if it's hot, it takes two to three hours. Okay. To settle down, turns to oil. Right. Yeah. Then you now do the packaging. Yes. Okay, so you package it in this size. Yeah. And then and I then saw a box over there. So, Mr. President, help me with the box. This this is one kilo. This one packaging, kilo. vacuum seal. Okay. And then we have uh, eleven point five. Okay. Box. No, don't worry. You can bring it. Hey! This one I'm finished meal. <laughs> uh, this is eleven point five box okay Ready let's box. see help me bring down this so this one is 11.5 yeah and i this see is, and this is what we call yellow butter yellow butter yes now i see that i ha i use share butter on my skin but my own is white yeah. so why do we have yellow we have white and then yellow because uh -huh. this yellow is mixed with a particular root okay which is very natural mm -hmm. and then healthy for the body mm. especially the stomach mm. when the when your stomach is aching you mm -hmm. and you take the root mm -hmm. and chew it mm. without any other thing mm. the stomach upset will settle oh, down okay yeah and that is the root that we add to this okay. to get the yellow butter okay. apart from the root we don't add any other thing it's not color it's not color the okay. root it itself is colored okay just like this right so we don't add any other color or any other different thing to get the color. It is the root that gives us this yellow color. Who are mainly your clients? Who buy from you? Savannah Fruits Company Limited, okay. SFC, and then okay. several African share butter, and then individual buyers. Okay. Yeah. How much is this? One kilo? One kilo is sold at 15 cities. 15 cities? Yeah. And the 11 kilos? So. 11 kilos, you multiply 15 cities by Times 11. 11. Yeah. Okay. How long can shea butter last for before it starts melting? Because I know it will melt if it's in the oh, sun. Yeah, if it is exposed to heat, within 2-3 minutes, it will start melting. So where is best to keep shea butter? A very cold place. A very cold place? Yes. Okay. Do you produce based on demand or you produce it and then expect markets to come? No, we produce it based on demand. Is share butter business profitable? Mm, uh, we we'll see yes and no. Explain. The yes being that mm -hmm. it depends on the contract you get. Okay. People think maybe share butter is very costly, but it's not costly due to the process and the cost involved. Mm. So to say it is economical, I'll say no. But in some way, because of its importance and the way we do it in order to help the community, women and their children, I'll say it is economical. Okay. What are some of the challenges associated with your business? Mm -hmm. Economically and then the products. Okay. Getting the nuts uh -huh. is not easy. How? Uh, but the nuts is all the over. Trees, the trees when are, I was driving trees, around town, chief was showing me these are shea butter trees. Uh, so now, now can you see any shea butter tree here? Uh -huh. uh -huh. <laughs> so 
it is because they are cutting it down using it for firewood and charcoal. Why? So because of that, the uh, the shear nuts is not in the system, which is making it costly. But why it, are you not? Don't they know the revenue it generates when they leave it to bear fruit, pick it up, process? Don't they know? Uh, or you need a firewood they, more they, than? They they know, but there is no strict law that guys mm. the cutting, cutting of it. Okay. So because of that, people take it to their own hands. The trees belong to them, mm. so they do whatever they want with it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So and if somebody is cutting down his tree or you her can't tree, you can go and question the person. It's true. Uh -huh. And what other challenges do you? Sometimes, when the nurse is not more in the system, mm -hmm. it's very difficult to get. Okay. So because of that, mm -hmm. even the letter that you get. Mm -hmm. It will be costly. Very expensive. Yeah. Okay. Which will change the price of the right. butter. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. And secondly, mm. getting buyers to it's not easy mm. because it is not in the world market. Mm. So it's very difficult to get buyers mm. at sometimes. Okay. Uh -huh. Do you process share butter or are you in business the whole year? Yeah. The whole year. The whole year. You are working. Yeah. Okay. We are I working. See. What um would you call on stakeholders for as in support is there any kind of support you need from stakeholders maybe uh, governments or other funding partners who give funding to associations like this yeah definitely i will say so hmm. in the sense that mm -hmm. uh, first of all the government has to look into the market hmm. and then how to make sure that there is nuts in the market hmm in that maybe if there is a law guiding the trees in such a way that people cannot cut it down, mm. I think it will help us to get more nuts in the system. Okay. And secondly, if buyers comes in to buy mm. the butter, at least the woman can also get something which will help them economically in some way. Okay. Do we have modern machines for processing share or this is how it is done everywhere? Uh, we have modern machines mm. used for the kneading and then the crashing but okay. what we do here is the ma handmade one. yes the handmade one. which is original okay it is alleged i don't know how true it is so you defend it for me that customers prefer the handmade share butter compared to the one they use modern machines to process yes. how true is that oh it's very true okay. in the sense that mm -hmm. the handmade makes the butter very natural okay nothing will be added to it and no nutrients will be lost mm. from the handmade. Mm. But with the machine, mm -hmm. you will not get the actual butter as mm. you have gotten okay. if you were to use your handmade. Okay. In the sense that mm -hmm. the machine can add a lot of things to it that makes it unnatural. Right. So people prefer the handmade than the machine. Okay. Earlier on, you, you said there's a root you mix with yeah. the share. And that's what gives you this yellow color. And this is the root. And that is the root there. Oh, okay. So you add it and then grind together. And grind it together. Okay. When I it see. comes out, mm -hmm. it comes out like a liquid mm -hmm. form and you will not get the color again. All right. So among this, the yellow and the pure white one, which one do customers prefer the most? Well, people prefer the white because they don't know what, what it is makes it? to get the color. Mm. But it is all the same. It's all the same. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, um... Zakaria, what would you call for the kind of support from funding to technology to anything? What would you call for to help you help these women, you know, expand mm. or scale up production? Uh, first of all, uh, I want stakeholders, mm. those who can support, to come and support us to develop the center okay. in such a way that maybe we can contain more women to help them. And secondly, mm. also buyers have to come here mm. and then give us more contracts mm. so that we can also get enough profit mm. to look after the women we are taking care of. Okay. If I'm in Accra and I want some to buy, can you send it over? Oh, very easy. Are you on social media? Yes. What's the name on social media? The name is Zakaria Tiyumba. Zakaria Tiyumba. Yeah. Okay, so when I follow you, I can get to you. You can get to me. And then I'll place my order yes. for you to produce yes, for me. Yes, you can get it. Okay. So um, that's Zakaria for you. He is the secretary for Tiyumba Sherbata Center here in Tamale. And he's calling for help. 
to support the center. So the center can also support the over 180 women they are working with. That's impressive. But more can be done if only you buy from them, if you support them with machines and also support them with uh, access to credit to be able to scale up the production. Coming up is 60 seconds on our break, after which I'll be engaging Margaret. She's completed SHS. Her mother works at the center. And she's home for now because she has not gone to the university yet. And she's helping her mom. I'll chit chat with her and find out what she's learning so far working here to help her mom. I'll be right back after this. Stay tuned. joining us. Gone by was 60 seconds on our break. My name is Enyinam. Joining me now is Margaret, a 20-year-old SHS graduate who comes here to help her mother from time to time because of lack of funding for her to further her education as we speak presently. Margaret, how are you? Uh, and when did you join your mother at the Tiyumba Shebata Center? At the age of 15. 15 years. So it's been yeah. five years. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so it was here you learned how to do the processing. Yes. Right? Yes. Do you enjoy doing this? Yes. Are you paid are you paid the work you do? Yeah. Okay. Mm, uh, because so my I, mom uh -huh. gives me some to get for my basic needs. Okay. Uh, so, so after she's paid, she also gives you some tips. Yeah. Okay. Um how are you helping your mother with regards to promoting the work they do on social media? Because you are educated. Mm. I, through Facebook, okay. WhatsApp, uh -huh. and also through my friends, okay. ad advertise them right. so that if they want or somebody want, they mm -hmm. can contact me. Okay. I'll get it for them. In future, do you see yourself also going into share butter processing? Yes, because in back at school, I did business. Okay. Uh, so, me too, I want to... Uh, create Continue my own, own. Uh -huh, okay. this thing. Okay. Uh -huh. Are there any um, problems associated with you working day to day over here? Do you have any challenges? Mm. Uh -huh. Such as? Such as body pains, mm -hmm. which also help us mm. in the night. Mm. You can't do anything. You get tired. You get tired. Okay. So, and also your body will be paining you. Sometimes cry, the next day you will find it difficult to come back mm. and continue your work because of lack of those modern machines. Mm. Yeah. All right. Uh, what message will you give out to young people who are not interested in agriculture? What do you have to tell them about agribusiness? Because you said in the future you want to do your own, right? Mm. What do you have to tell your, your friends? Okay. A Greek is nice mm -hmm. because in future you too can plan your own destiny, your companies, and also help individuals who does not educate or do anything to take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. So through the Agric, mm -hmm. they can also get something to be doing mm -hmm. which will help them take care of their families mm -hmm. and also their needs. Okay. All right, so there you have it, Margaret, 20-year-old SHS graduate, and she comes here since 2015 to be helping her mother uh, process the share butter. At the end of the day, she gets a tip. Now, if you want to reach out to Tiyumba Share Butter Center, you can call 0347 My name is Enyunam. Thanks for watching.